So Hazel, when people approach you and you've been working with students for your whole career maybe, and they ask you, I want to become a service designer or maybe even I want to become a better service designer, what is the most important thing you tell them? The key thing is about having experience of a frontline service and what it's like both to experience that and to deliver it. And you can do that in all sorts of different ways. You can do that by shadowing somebody for a couple of hours who is working in a hospital or in local government, or you can do it through part-time work. One of the things I think in my career that taught me most about service design was I used to work in restaurants, you know, from when I was a student being a waitress to I ran restaurants for five years. And that sort of thing of actually knowing what it's like to be in a business or in an organization with all the pressures that that involves, you know, that it's not just about frontline customer interactions, it's all the back of house stuff, and just knowing what complexity is like and what the challenges are, both for people delivering the service and for the people coming in to access it. So go out and get experience in the real world, and it can be in all sorts of different ranges of things from retail to healthcare to education, but have a real experience.